YouTube, how's everyone doing? One shot bringing you guys another Battlefield 2042 video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you all the information you need to know about the beta that starts on October 5th. But before I do that, I just wanna say thank you to everyone tuning into the channel. It really does mean a lot. If you are new, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos covering Battlefield 2042 news and info. So as I had mentioned in one of my previous uploads, the Battlefield beta is going to start on October 6th. The preload is on October 5th, so you can start downloading the beta on on your console on October 5th and then the early access event is going to start on October 6th and 7th. To get into that early access you have to do one of two things either pre-order the game on your console or through a retailer and you will get a code to put in so you can download the beta or if you are an EA Play member you get access to the early access beta you don't have to pre-order the game at all all you have to do is just have that EA Play subscription and you'll be good to go. But as far as the content of the beta typical of most battlefield betas we're going to get just one map for the beta to play which is orbital and if you guys saw the battlefield trailer and also the beta trailer this is that map that has the rocket ship and the rocket launcher in the back so it's going to be a fun map looks like it has a lot of action and just a lot of fun but just that one map and then we will be playing 64 v 64 conquest on that map so just the one map and the one mode but that is pretty typical of most battlefield betas we also got some new information regarding a new progression system that will quote reward the most xp to players who play the objectives and stick with their teams until the end of the match, followed by other activities such as kills, assists, etc. So it seems like they're trying to get people to really play the objectives and focus on the squads. And obviously each player has their own individual job, whether that's medic or support or assault. And they want players to really focus on their classes and help their team, help their squad. And that's going to ultimately get you the most XP. They also go on to say that ribbons are making a return in Battlefield 2042 with five main characters designed to reward different actions in the game. Each ribbon has three tiers that will reward you more XP based on which tier you're in. So the five ribbons that we have are the objective ribbon, which is just play the objective, wingman ribbon, which is support teammates with revives and various assists, the logistics ribbon, which is healing and resupplying others and repairing vehicles, the intel ribbon, which is spotting and disrupting enemies such, via, such as via EMPs or destroying drones, and then the combat ribbon, which is score kills and destroy vehicles. So again, kind of really tailoring that XP to allowing players to focus on an objective and a specific type of action in the game and then rewarding XP based based on that. As far as the PC requirements go, the minimum is going to be an i5 or comparable processor with at least 8 gigabytes of RAM, 100 gigabytes of storage. Obviously, you're going to want to have better specs than that. So the recommended being an i7 or comparable processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and then 100 gigabytes of storage, preferably a solid state drive. But that's pretty much it for the information that we got from the beta. It is nice to finally have some solid concrete information on when it's going to start, what we're going to get, all that good stuff. Because I will say EA has definitely been lacking in the communication department in terms of letting us know what's going on. But I want to thank you guys for tuning into the video. I hope you guys are excited to play the Battlefield 2042 beta. Personally, I am so excited. I cannot wait to get my hands on this thing and get playing. But thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next upload.